It's 4 a.m. Where are we? At the airport. The airport. Let's go on vacation. Hey travel friends, it's Stoof here from Travel Season. Welcome back to our channel. We recently visited the island of Grand Cayman, celebrating my 34th birthday at one of our favorite resorts, the Kimpton Seafire. In this video, we'll be sharing our experience at this resort, providing helpful information related to amenities, restaurants, and other things to do at this resort slash this region of the island. We will also be providing our own review of this resort property, so stay tuned for that. While you're here, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more fun travel adventures like this one. So as you can see, the exterior of this resort property is stunning, very well maintained. There are little chickens and roosters running around all over the whole island, so you'll definitely see those at this resort as well. This Kempton Seafire Resort is a five-star resort located along Seven Mile Beach on Grand Cayman of the Cayman Islands. Our flight arrived to the airport around 1 p.m. in the afternoon, and it was about a 20-minute ride to the hotel. Check-in isn't until 4 p.m., so after checking in with the front desk, they let us know our room was not quite available yet, and they let us know that we were welcome to have some lunch at one of the two restaurants on the property, or we could relax by the pool or the beach, and we were able to leave our luggage with them, uh, and they would watch that for us until it was time to check in. If you look at the resort map, you'll see number four is Coco Loba Beach Bar and Grill. That's where we walk to to grab some lunch. This restaurant is located right on the beach. There are a few restaurants along Seven Mile Beach. However, this is my favorite one on the beach. It has amazing views. Looking out at the water, you are so close to the ocean. This is a great spot to watch the sunset, and it's an awesome spot for some lunch as well. So we grabbed lunch there. We both had some delicious tacos, margaritas, and some chips and guacamole. After lunch, we walked over to the pool area. We just went back up to the front desk at 4 p.m. Our room was then available. We grabbed our keys and walked up to the room. Here's what our room looked like. This was the Ocean View guest room. It was a middle tier room. There is the lowest tier room is a North Sound View guest room, which has a view looking out at the sound. So you still get to see some water. However, there is the busy roadway between the hotel and the water. Uh, the Ocean View room, which is what we had, has a view of the resort property and the ocean. And then there are ocean front rooms which are located the closest to the ocean where your view is pretty much just straight out at the ocean maybe some palm trees in between you and the ocean in addition to those three rooms they also have suites and they have bungalows that you can rent as well one thing that sets the Kimpton Seafire apart from any other resort we've ever visited is the concierge will reach out to you several days before your arrival and ask if you have any special requests or if you're celebrating anything. They really wanna make your stay special, so they ask those things. I let them know we'd be celebrating my birthday, and I also asked if it was possible to have two margaritas ready for us upon check-in in our room. They happily had that ready for us when we got there, and they also had a plate of assorted fruits dipped in chocolate available for us in the room. Little things like that made us feel so welcomed and special throughout this entire stay. I have a longer video with a more detailed walkthrough of our hotel room in the description under this video if you would like to see more about the hotel room. 
After getting all settled in in our room and relaxing at the resort, we tidied up a bit for dinner and walked south down Seven Mile Beach to Mykonos restaurant, which is about a block back from the ocean. It's not a beachfront restaurant. However, they have delicious Mediterranean inspired food and pizzas. I highly recommend that restaurant if you are visiting Grand Cayman. After dinner, we walked back to the resort and called it a night. The next day, we went for a walk on the beach in the morning. We took in those beautiful views of the calm turquoise water in front of us. After our morning walk, we headed to breakfast at Ave. That's the second restaurant at the resort property. Breakfast at Ave is available until 11 a.m. every day. You are welcome to order from the menu items at your table or you can get the buffet. The breakfast buffet is exceptional. They have options for more of the American style breakfast with an omelet station, eggs, bacon, other types of meat, uh, a potato, there's usually pancakes or French toast, something like that. Uh, there's like a parfait bar. There's also an oatmeal station, fresh fruit, and they also have a full European breakfast spread. Ave has both indoor and outdoor seating. The staff at this restaurant are so friendly and helpful. They always ask if you have any food allergies before ordering so they can make sure there's no cross-contamination. After breakfast, we browsed around the resort property a bit more. We discovered there is an ATM machine in the resort. Located between numbers 11 and 12 on this resort map is the ATM location. It's on the right side of the wall there where you can get Cayman dollars if you need those for tipping or taxi rides or anything like that. There also is a small cafe in the lobby level of the resort property where they have little cold sandwich lunches, parfaits, ice creams, canned beverages, bottled beverages, things like that. That cafe is located on the lobby level. If you take the steps down to the lower level, the spa is located there. This resort offers a variety of spa packages. You are welcome to book those before your stay or when you arrive, you can go to that front desk in the spa to book a spa package. The Kimpton Seafire Resort has an $80 per day resort fee, which may seem high at first. However, when you see everything involved in that $80 resort fee, it really isn't that bad. You get access to this full gym, which has cardio machines, lifting equipment, yoga mats, things like that. There are bicycles for rent just outside the fitness center that is included in your resort fee. At the beach, you have access to the lounge chairs. You also can use these blue little floaty things that go out on the ocean. They are so relaxing to lay on. The water is so calm. Just don't fall asleep because you might drift away. <laughs> they have a big floating mat over the water that you can go lay out on. Also included in your resort fee is access to all of the non-motorized water equipment. They have water tricycles that we tried one day, stand-up paddle boards, they have kayaks you can rent, and this little mini sailboat type of boat. Also included in your resort fee are complimentary sunscreen and aloe lotions at the beach. There are complimentary water stations all around the resort property. They have fresh water with fruit in it at the beaches, at the pools, and there is a machine with the ice machine on every floor of the resort property. The Kimpton Seafire also provides you with a reusable water bottle that you can fill up at any of the water stations around the resort.
In addition to those amazing features at the resort, they also have cornhole set up in various locations, they have a foosball table at the lower level of the pool area, and they have a ping pong table. While walking around the resort property, we noticed this is a very kid-friendly, family-friendly resort. There is a kids' splash park area with its own set of cabanas and lounge chairs surrounding the fenced-in splash park. There also is a kids' camp type of feature. I don't know a whole lot about that. I'm sure you can ask the hotel for more information about the kids' camp. We also noticed a new kids craft or activity happening under a tent every day at the resort. So keep an eye out for that if you are looking for fun activities for you and your kids to do together. Another one of our favorite things about the Kempton Seafire is their social hour. Every day at 5 p.m. they have a complimentary wine tasting where everyone can have their own glass of wine and they have little tapas appetizer hors d'oeuvre type foods out for you to taste and we made sure we stopped by that social hour every day that we could while we were at the resort on our second evening at the resort we went back to coco loba for tacos and quesadillas for dinner at this little bar style seating area overlooking the ocean and the sunset, it was so beautiful to watch the sailboats gliding over the ocean with the clouds and the sun setting behind it. For our third day of vacation at the Kimpton Seafire, we started the day off with a fresh breakfast buffet in the morning at Ave Restaurant. The hotel surprised me with a happy birthday plate with a dessert brownie and some fruits. That was so sweet and special of them. After breakfast, we had to catch a tour to the Crystal Caves. This is about an hour drive from the resort property. It's on the east end of the island. And I will have another video with more information about the Crystal Caves in the description under this video soon. After our Crystal Cave tour, we made it back to the resort property where we relaxed by the pool for the afternoon and ordered some lunch right from our lounge chairs at the pool. They have menus at every lounge chair area with a little red flag that can be turned in the upward position to flag a staff member to come over and assist you with your order. We had the tropical salad and chicken tenders and fries. That tropical salad was one of the best salads I've ever had in my life and I copied that recipe to make it at home. The Island of Grand Cayman also has these little curly tailed lizards so keep an eye out for those at the resort. For dinner this evening, I thought it would be fun to walk north along Seven Mile Beach up to Heritage Kitchen, which is a small local cuisine shack style type of restaurant where you walk up to the front, order your food, and then there are picnic table seating areas around the restaurant where you can try some local cuisine. After doing this, I would not recommend walking here from the Kimpton Seafire. I would recommend taking a car or a taxi to Heritage Kitchen. However, I do recommend the food. The local food there was delicious. I had the pineapple grouper and Nate had the beef soup. This menu changes daily, so when you arrive, don't expect the menu to look the same as it does in this video. On our fourth day in the Cayman Islands, we took a walk down to Taco Cantina for lunch. It's about an hour walk heading south on the beach to get to Taco Cantina from the Kimpton Seafire. You could take a taxi, however, we thought it was a nice day and decided to walk along the beach. I highly recommend Taco Cantina restaurant. It's very reasonably priced. On Sundays, they have a all-you-can-eat taco special where they set out a buffet style to create your own tacos. 
This restaurant has indoor and outdoor seating. We chose to sit inside in the air conditioning because we walked to the restaurant. Inside the restaurant, there is Sharpie writing all over the walls where people that visited put their mark on the place. So at the end, I asked if I could also write our names on the wall. So if you ever visit this restaurant, you can check out our names right here on the wall in the restaurant. After lunch, we played a round of nine holes of golf at North Sound Golf Club. And after golf, we started walking back towards the resort property, stopping for dinner at Yoshi Sushi. And we always enjoy this restaurant. I recommend this restaurant as well. And for our last day at the Kimpton Seafire Resort, we relaxed at the beach lounge chairs, tried out some of the non-motorized water sports included in our resort fee, and then it was time to check out and head back home to Pennsylvania. Well, we just checked out and we're in the cab, ready to go back to the airport. <laughs> Not ready. <laughs> As you can tell from my earlier talking in this video, this is a wonderful resort. The Kimpton Seafire is one of our favorite places to stay. This was only our second time visiting the resort. However, we plan to come back again in the future. The hotel property is so well maintained. The restaurants have delicious food. The rooms are spacious and have beautiful views. The service at this hotel is a step above every other resort we've ever stayed. Everyone is so friendly and welcoming. I really don't have anything negative to say about this resort. I wanna sprinkle in a little bit of bonus information here. This resort, the Kimpton Seafire, is part of the IHG rewards program at this time in 2024. You can use your rewards points to stay at this resort by logging into the IHG app and you can apply your points for your stay here. That is what we chose to do for this stay. In my opinion, this is one of the top resorts that you can use your points for in the IHG program. So we just save up all of our points and come back here when we have enough points for a week vacation. Another awesome thing that the Kimpton Seafire offers diamond members in the IHG program is a complimentary breakfast every day for two. So the breakfast buffet is not cheap. It is a little more on the expensive side in my opinion. However, we were able to receive a complimentary breakfast every day for being Diamond IHG members. Although we used our points, we still had to cover the resort fees and gratuities and any other little tips or bonus items we wanted to purchase while at the resort. However, it still is an incredible way to get an amazing five-star vacation without paying the price for a five-star vacation. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up my video and review of the Kimpton Seafire Resort on Grand Cayman. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about the resort, you can leave a comment under this video and I'll answer that to the best of my knowledge. There is more information about this resort on their website. I have a link for that in the description under this video. As I mentioned earlier, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more travel adventures and informative travel videos like this one. If you're planning your own trip to the Kimpton Seafire or the island of Grand Cayman, I wish you safe travels and have a wonderful time. Happy travels.